Last night I did a time lapse of this. I wasn't able to do the real time video and I'm gonna to try to do that now. So here we are back at the vending machine and I'm going to do what I can to get as much done as, as I can. I don't know that I'm going to finish it, but we will see what happens. So uh, let's see, let's bring that in and let's just scale that in the Z, get it up to there. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll start working on this thing here. So let's focus on both of those and uh, not do that. <laughs> let's take that and just move it back so I can sort of get a sense of what's going on. Let me look from the back. I'm just going to center that in there. And I'm going to press I to inset and pull that in. And basically what I want to be able to do is see... See, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those for now and then center this again. And I think I will, um, let's see, maybe, yeah, maybe we'll grab all of this and pull it up just a little bit and down like that. It's probably okay like that. All right, let's pull that in. In fact, while we're here, Let's get rid of uh, these back faces. All right, whatever. Mm. Uh, let's see if I get rid of that. How's that going to treat me? Get this guy back here. I think that's going to be okay. All right, I'm going to extrude this back. And I'm going to get rid of that face there. And I just want to focus on him now. Or her, I guess it depends. And we're going to bevel these edges here. Control B, pull. And I'll do my five. And we'll bevel this with, say, three. And let's have a look at that actually that okay so what did I do did I flip that around mm, that's dumb I guess I did rotate Z 180 yeah I moved it a little bit and I flipped it the wrong way silly okay well that's better All right, so good. Now we're gonna take this and I'm going to focus on that. Bring my 3D cursor there and I'm going to bring in a plane. And I may have to move that back, by the way. I'm gonna make the holes for the bottles. Rotate X, uh, rotate X 90. Yeah, something like that. I'm gonna see if I make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's okay like that. And I'm going to subdivide it a little bit like that. Select this vertex here and control plus and X vertices. Now I'm going to take these and use loop tools to make that a circle. I'll make it a bit smaller though. E and S. I just want a lip there. And we're going to bring that back. E and push that back so we can actually hold the bottles. And then I'm going to select all these faces and bring it out just a little bit. So that protrudes. And in edge selection, I'm going to select those edges and bevel them just like that. Make it shade smooth. I would probably put a subdivision on, so we'll see. And let's shade smooth that while we're here. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hide the subdivision though for now. And we'll come in here just to make sure we're flipped. Shift D to duplicate, pull it down. I've got snap to vertex there, so I'll pull up and snap it there. And I'll do another two down here and snap. Now, I just want to see if I could make it a little bit smaller. And push it back and then um, take uh, this one here and just pull that all the way back. I think that's going to be okay like that. 
So let's take that, let's focus on that. Don't worry about the shading. And duplicate that down and snap it to there. Select it all, merge by distance. And let's try with the subdivision back on and see. Okay, it's not quite long enough. All right. Um, let's scale it up and see if we can just get it to fit. There we go. Okay, so there's enough room, hopefully, for the bottles to clear there. I think everything else is okay. So, um, yeah, with respect to the bottles themselves, um, I don't really want to do a lot of work on the bottles right now, so I, I, I'd like to do that maybe in another video. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to do a mock bottle for the time being. And... Uh, we'll do a, an actual coke bottle uh, in the near future so I'm just going to extrude that I do have a subdivision on E come up you know something like this and we'll do like a fake cap I just want to get the approximate size of this thing this is not how the bottle would end up looking um, so let's turn that off then for the moment and come in here and let's bevel this just so it looks a little bit better and bevel here and we're just not going to spend a lot of time on this there i'll put that back on and shade smooth and yeah, it looks like a bottle of milk which is good and we'll look at this and we'll just scale it and just g to bring it down and we'll have to come back in so something like that maybe we can make it a bit bigger no, not quite that big let's try taking those and in edit mode copying them down and let's see how this one fits if I come down kind of hits all right so maybe I do have to move them back in further see if I can take those and this and just push it in like that yeah that's all right we can do something like that all right so yeah mock-up bottle and then what I do is uh, I'm going to bring in a circle go for something like 22 vertices and just make a design here I don't know how well you can see that there uh, it's not really a bottle cap uh, I will be doing a bottle cap later um, we're just going to do something here and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to it's very similar to a body bottle cap check your deselect take them all now and bring them in it's more like a star sort of bring them out and then we will um, use loop tools to convert to a circle and E and S will come into about there and then I'll have to fit to fill it and then I'll select that edge here and bevel and I just want to and grab this in face selection and just extrude it back in as a you know just a design element here and select those edges and control b to bevel but we'll have three edges there and then we'll bevel this and then i'm coming back shift alt and click there and extrude it back and then i'm gonna bevel here and we're going to see if i put on shade smooth and a bevel how she's looking all right, let's try a weighted normal 
and normals auto smooth and let's also come in here and recalculate outside and merge by distance let's see let me get this kind of star pattern just as something to have in the middle there okay now we're going to make the handle to this so I'm going to select the door and select this edge shift D to duplicate it pull it in and out look from the front I'll break it out so I've got that and scale it down and then press Z for wireframe and get the approximate size of that handle the positioning may be a little bit different okay and with that I'm going to extrude back and X edges get rid of that so I have just these select those two and shift control B and pull and have five and make a handle okay let's convert that to a curve and in the curve dialog box under geometry and bevel it will just hold shift and pull it you can look at the diagram if you want to and get the approximate size and that's probably okay I may actually um, yeah. I'll come in here and scale it a little bit. And scale it a bit more so I can put something uh, underneath here. Okay, I'm going to select those two and Shift D to duplicate and P to break it out. And then over here, I'm going to increase the bevel depth. Let's shade smooth that and shade smooth that. And then we'll come back to this and I will shorten that. And then up in the resolution, let's change the resolution to four and then convert it to a mesh. And then grab this edge and E and S, pull in, and then E and bring it out or up and then in. And then we'll grab these edges and bevel them just with three. I'll put one more edge loop down there and control one for one subdivision. So we've got a handle like that. And I kind of want that to be just a little bit more visible. So I'm going to scale it up, but I'll pull it in. So you got that like that. Okay. Let's switch the resolution of this to three and convert it to a mesh and set the 3D cursor there. Shift S, cursor to selected. So we can take this and set the origin to the 3D cursor and we can mirror this guy down here I'm gonna apply that mirror and I'm going to control J to join those and then I'll put on one subdivision okay but I will just quickly do that all right so we've got that part done before I forget I often do let's let's grip let's make this hinge let's select that edge to bring the 3d cursor there and bring in a cylinder I can go for 16 or 18 let's go for 18 and scale it down and put it in here I'll push it in let's scale that in the Z so it sticks out really not looking a lot at uh, the diagram but I have an idea of how it's gonna go I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger and I'm gonna take this end and this end or those two faces anyhow and control B pull and roll up a couple of times to make it nice and smooth and then I'm going to uh, just do that I think and shift alt and click here E and alt s and pull to bring it in so it kind of looks like a, a hinge or part of a hinge now we'll bevel this with three and we'll also do one more bevel like this split it to for sort of supporting edges there and uh, we'll shade smooth and um, I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. And um, maybe I'll pull it into the door a bit more. Okay, so I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm just going to copy another one down. I suppose I can look at to where, roughly where it is. So we'll put it roughly there. Okay, that's probably all right. That's what we get. And that's what we've got. Cool. We are moving on to this uh, part that has the handle and the coin thing, etc. So I'm going to bring in a uh, plane, rotate it, and just move it over. And let's look in wireframe, and we'll get this going. So 
So square up to there, we'll bevel that in a second. We'll grab this bottom edge and pull it down. And uh, maybe I'll scale in the X just a little bit. Like that, okay. So yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, what I wanna do first, I think I will give it some thickness and we'll get rid of that back face. Now we'll pull it in. I'm gonna bevel the top to grab those edges. Look from the front and wireframe and control B and pull. And I, I wanna get a nice rounding. So just I'm just rolling my mouse up until I, I feel I like the rounding. Something like that doesn't have to be exactly the same as the diagram, just close. And this one I'm going to do as well, but I don't need it uh, quite as many. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, I know what the fifth is at five. Yeah, good. Okay. And now we're going to bevel this. I just need to watch that they don't overlap. So I'm going to watch down here, Control B, and I'm going to pull quite a bit and get it quite rounded. That's about as much as I can do. And I think that's going to be fine. All right, cool. So we'll shade smooth that in a minute. We're going to do this design here. And for that, I'm going to grab this piece, Shift D, and pull it out and position it. P to break it out. And we'll just look at the diagram and we'll see. We'll just scale it a little bit. Yeah, so a little bit off the diagram, so that's totally fine. Though. Um, let's say we put it about here. Extrude back. Actually, I'm going to lift it up. And we'll grab these. And extrude them down to, I don't know how far we're going to find out. Not that far, <laughs> to about there and scale it in. And um, I think I'm going to take these. And that's the middle one. There, we'll do that. All right, let's 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 give that, that design a try. Select there and Control B to bevel and have at least five in there. And then take this and E and Alt S, and I guess we're pushing so that it goes downwards like that. And let's focus just on that. This is quite a uh, quite a ways back. We don't need it that far. Pull that in, but delete that face. And the next thing we'll do is come in, drop an edge loop right in the middle, and then just drop an edge loop there and there. And in face selection with C, we are going to not that. I'm gonna select these. Actually, it doesn't matter how you select them. You just want those middle ones. And then E and Alt S, and we're gonna push and make it come out. Maybe an equal amount is decent. And select these back ones, we don't need them. And then come over here and add a bevel. I'm gonna bring that up to three and shade smooth. But I'll come in and I'll recalculate outside in case, merge by distance, just in case. Slash key to bring it back. Let's. Let's shade that now, and then just get this into position. Just G and grab it and just get it pretty good. All right, let's see how close to the diagram we actually are. Eh, not bad. Okay, we got that. So now let's come in here and let's select that point and bring the 3D cursor there so we can build there. I'm going to build something that's not, I'll use 22, in on the, on the reference image. I just felt like an, it needed something. Rotate X 90. I just thought it would be cool like a little light or something like that All right, so let's we've got that let's extrude it back and delete that back face in face selection select I to inset pull it in a ways and Then extrude it out to about there and then control B and, and bevel all the way back So it's nice and round and then grab that edge and control B with just three We'll shade smooth and control one. And, and that's gonna be probably just fine. So just position this where you like. I'm having it kind of in the middle. So we can have something that glows on this. I don't know why. Just cause. All right, we need to make four indents. We're gonna do four booleans. So let's use this and just bring the 3D cursor there to make it a little bit easier. We'll go into wireframe and bring in another plane and rotate x90 uh, drag this down and start scaling it and 
there I pretty much have the width and by moving it I'm kind of losing the center position I don't, I don't know that that really matters that much uh, let me just look yeah maybe I do want to um, I just I, I don't want to go over the edges let's see how's that all right I'll scale it a little bit more all right, that's going to be my groove. And do I like the position of this relative? I think I need to. Yeah, all right, I'll go. I'll go with that. This thing's down a little bit closer than the other one, but that's fine. All right, so let's go back in wireframe and select those vertices, and Shift Control B and pull, and let's make a nice circle. I'm going to go for five, and I think that's going to be okay for what we need to do. Sometimes we do a little quicker. Than, uh, than we would if I was doing it on my own. Uh, okay, push that in. We can adjust that depth later. Let's take that Shift D to duplicate G, pull it down here, rotate Y 90, and go into wireframe and bring that over to here. And then we're in wireframe so I can grab the whole thickness of it. I'm gonna pull that down and I'm gonna pull that up. And how close to the edge am I? I hope I'm okay. In fact, just to be a little bit more on the safe side, I'm just I'm going to pull that over a little bit. Okay, so we're going to do a boolean here. It's going to be messy. Select that. It's not looking too bad, is it? Uh, I have a feeling these are... Uh, why? Do I have a bevel on this? I'm surprised it was so nice didn't mess up yet all right the only thing i don't really like is these two really close so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use a knife tool a to constrain and just drag it across so uh and maybe get rid of uh that one okay so we have that um i don't really have any thickness here but i think that's okay for what i put my other pieces in the uh the borders should make up for that so that's fine uh, let's go back into wireframe and do the other two another plane rotate it and drag it down to about here and scale it and the hole is going to be kind of like that and then this piece is going to overlap it so that's okay like that just bring it out and extrude it back Select it, Alt N, recalculate outside, and we'll push it in like that. Okay, and then we're going to take that and just copy it up to here. And I'm probably oh, okay. I'll scale it a bit, and we're going to scale it down, and we got that. Okay, two more booleans ready to go. Let's see how messy this gets. Boolean difference those apply hide not bad actually not bad the only thing is I do want now that I think of it a bottom to this one and this one these ones can be open so I do have to actually go in so we're gonna select now before I do that this may not be my favorite situation here so each of these needs uh at least two supports so i'm going to use the knife tool come around the middle and a to constrain and do that and let's see if i could get rid of this one okay i can i actually think i'm going to do this first for that one and dissolve no nope, maybe we'll try that one and no nope, that changed something so i'm not going to do that um I'm not going to worry about it because that's going to be covered and I'm going to have to do a bevel here, but let's see how this goes. Let's grab the outer border. So, you know, it's problem solving too. Um, let's do this, E to extrude, let's pull that down a ways and let's grab it again and F to make a face. Now this one's going to be a little bit sh closer and that one, um, Let's take this and F to make a face. So it's starting to get a little bit weird. Now, what I can do is throw on a, we'll try a bevel, even just with one, and weighted normal, and normal's auto smooth. 
and that doesn't fully clear it up i'm going to alt n recalculate outside that helped and merge by distance what i'm really going to do is i'm going to uh turn off the bevel for the moment and i'm going to bevel this by hand uh even though this is not going to be seen that's just going to give it some support i just probably need three edges or something see it's starting to look better already again even though it's not going to be seen um it's behind the scenes support and that's why i didn't like this one i wasn't sure even if the shape is a little bit off on this it's not going to matter matter it's going to be covered so let's see what we got we still got these all right so let's get into it let's select a little bit of this p to break it out and just focus on this guy the slash key and I'm going to select the front and the back face. I'd inset, pull it in a bit, control E, bridge edge loops. We'll get rid of these back faces here. And then this is where my time lapse went a little bit weird. This is what I really want to do is I want to, um, da -da 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 -da, I want to actually get rid of that. And I want to take this and I want to expand it a little bit in both directions. And we can adjust this. I want to pull that down a bit, and then I want to bevel this edge here with three, and I also want to bevel this edge. And I'll shade smooth, and if it's not smooth enough, then we'll uh, we'll add a subdivision, and then take this and then just push it in like that. Okay. So, uh, and, and this one's going to have the handle, and so I probably would actually pull this up a little bit more. I'm going to do the same thing with all of these, really. So let's just do this front and back, inset a bit, maybe a bit more, nah, that's all right. Uh, bridge edge loops, delete delete back faces. Uh, in fact, uh, delete these faces and take the edge here and S to scale and just try to get them equal. And then extrude back a little bit so that I can go into the into the surface of that. I can grab actually both of these and control B with three. Shade smooth. Let's go back and look at this and push it into place. So you see that you don't see the shit, you just see a nice outline. Alright, and for these ones, I want to grab that one and break it out. We'll focus just on that. And front and back, same kind of thing. I'd inset bridge edge loops delete and delete and then take the outside here and scale it pretty much evenly and then extrude it back but this one I need to curve and I'll do that in a moment because I'm going to select all these inside edges and I'm going to scale in the Z and pull them in this is the coin where you put your coin in so I want to give it a kind of a shape like like that then i'm going to grab the edges all the way so holding shift and uh alt and we will do five three four five oh what happened there i let go of it four five and then these edges here with just three or maybe if that's not your favorite shape you can do it differently if you want to Okay, let's take that and push it in. All right, so that's that one there. One more to go. It's true that I'm not even really looking at the diagram anymore. So that may be frustrating to some of you, but hopefully it's all right. I'm just doing my thing. Basically know what I want to do and, you know, but it doesn't look exactly the same as the diagram, but if it looks good and fits the, fits the style and the size is okay, then it's all good. It'll probably be pretty close anyhow. May not be as wide as the diagram. Let's, let's have a look. Yeah, it's not as wide, but all right, well, does it really matter? If it did, 
if it did you could shift alt and click control plus a few times to get to the surface and we could just um sx and s z or z whatever you like all right fine and we have that so where are we at by the way before i forget i want to grab this and scale this in the y i don't want it as thick as this one i just want a little bit of a difference in height there all right that's good uh we got a couple more things to do let's do that handle all right let's bring in a circle of 22 scale it down rotate x 90 and let's have a, just a general look here. Mom, it's even. Something's wrong. That's okay. Papa, there's six vomits. All right. But well, Daddy keeps vomiting in. Yeah, well, we're going to check that out a little bit later and on. And even there's a very big vomit oh in the God. kitchen. All right, well, I cleaned up a bunch today, and I'm going to be doing some more. Okay. And what I'm going to do here, sorry about that, let's extrude back, let's extrude back again, and scale it in, extrude back a bit, and extrude, and extrude back, so that's the back part, and then for the front part, it's going to come like this, oh, yeah, my dog's, my dog's sick, they eat grass and stuff all the time, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take uh, here, I'm going to inset, and I'll just bring it in. And okay, so we got that. So let's do some beveling here. Grab these areas and control B with just three, and that's fine. We're going to need some support on these ones as well. Control B, just like that. Let's take this and put it in and see how she looks in there. Okay, so that's not bad. All right, so now let's let's try this we'll look from the top and select these two i think i may go for just four this time and extrude up and i'm going to scale in the x a little bit and i'll scale in the z to make the handle and i'm going to scale in the y as well to thin it out all right let's try adding a bevel to that and shade smooth and we'll try weighted normal and we'll see if we need that not nah. let's come in we calculate outside and do that and that's the that's the handle right there all right i'm just going to rotate it a little bit and just move it down maybe i'll scale it up a little bit so we have that and let's just see how close it is to well that's a little bit smaller than the than this so let's increase the size of that and see if that still fits in and it does and just bring it out so yeah we're, we're kind of true to the diagram kind of all right there's one more thing other than the actual bottle what i'm going to do is i'm going to come in here and i'm going to select one of these bottles and i'm going to bring it out and break it out. I just want to use this as a guide. Rotate X minus 90. Because I'm going to do a bottle opener down here. Well, there's actually two more things. There's little labels, but this is the... Okay, so I just wanted to get a sense of the size of the bottle and the bottle cap as I make this. All right. All right, so with that done, I'm going to come in here and now I'm going to bring in a circle. I could probably do this with 16 vertices. Rotate X90. I'm going to delete these top vertices. I'm going to bring the 3D cursor right to that, actually. Shift D, rotate Y180. And bring that up. I'm going, to, I'm going to connect those and those. Pull this down a little bit. And I'm going to select all these four and subdivide. That'll put a point in the middle. F to make a face. So I'm going to select everything. F. Take the whole thing and pull it out. 
And I'm going to select these and bring a 3D cursor there and set the pivot. Oh, not that. Set the 3D pivot there. So I can select these and now look from the side and I can rotate around there. All right. And I'm going to rotate that. All right. Now I'm going to go back to median point, E and Alt S, give it some thickness, and then bevel here with five. So we get that bend, and I'm going to select all the edges around. Don't forget these ones here. That and that. We're going to bevel with three. Okay, we can shade smooth. If I need to, I can put a subdivision on there, but I don't think I will because I am going to be uh, putting, doing a Boolean on here for the bottle cap. And this is why I really needed the bottle there, just to get a sense, so it's not totally out of proportion. All right, I'm gonna bring in a cylinder, and I'm going to use 32, make it nice and round. And we use that to cut into this. Rotate this around. And now, yeah, this is where I want to look. Oh, yeah, I, I don't think it would matter that much. That's going to be about the size that I'm going to do. That's going to be fine. No one's going to measure this. So select the main body here of that, Boolean. Select the cylinder and apply. We can get rid of that. And then we come in here. And, you know, when you do this stuff and it, and it looks bad, don't freak out yet because you need to put a bevel on this. Uh, it's just, it's not supported properly. So either side, uh, I have a few in there. And there you go. Shade smooth. And uh, it's a little bit lowish poly. And by the way, we can also add that weighted normal and normal auto smooth. And it looks just fine. All right, I'm gonna pull that back in. And even if it doesn't go exactly on the back, they could have like something sticking out to support it. Uh, in fact, I like it coming out a little bit further than that. So I'm gonna put it there because something could be holding it. I can put a cylinder in back in there. Uh, you can go now. And uh, I'm gonna select here. I'm just gonna do a couple of really quick sort of bolts with 16. All right, and then we'll extrude back, delete that back face, select that front face in Control B and pull, have a few segments, uh, shade smooth, and we'll just flatten it a little bit and push it on, maybe scale it down a bit. And yeah, we'll have one there, shifty, one there, and one here. Okay, good. Let's see if anybody is. Okay, yeah. I'm going to select the whole thing and recalculate. And if it doesn't, like this thing here, we just have to go flip. I'm um, on the wrong one. So this guy here. Everybody else? Okay, good. Okay, as far as I can tell, the final thing is down here. So I'm going to select here, um, Shift D to duplicate that, P to break it out. We'll use this to make the labels. Scale that down about there. All right, so now we have our plane. Okay, extrude back a little bit, E and S. We'll come out, let's just look and see if it's even, which is not, so we'll scale it in Z. And extrude back one more time. Delete that back face. And we will grab all these edges to bevel this. Control B, I want five in there. We're gonna bevel this and this with three. And we'll put one more edge loop in here. Take this though and we calculate outside and then push it on. Like that. 
Okay, and then we have more to do on there. So let's take this shifty G, bring it up. I'm gonna break it out. I don't know if I did. Yeah, I did. But it's not out here yet. There it is. I'm just gonna scale it down by eye like that. Okay, I'm just thinking about my kids coming in talking about the dog vomiting, which is a terrible thing. They, they eat grass and cause themselves to vomit. And uh, yeah. All right, we'll put that there for now. And then uh, I'll just come in and we'll look in wireframe and we'll shift D to duplicate. And we'll put another one here. Shift D and G, shift D and G. And let me just see if I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm okay. Double check here. Let's, uh, let's hide that and select everything. And uh, merge by distance, see, no, didn't get rid of anything. So that means we did a good job. Yeah, the only thing I'm not crazy about is this handle, but uh, it's all right, I suppose. Let's go back to our, our red color. Now I'm gonna turn off the screencast keys. I just wanna have a close look at the shading and everything. Almost don't have to do much with those bottles, but I will show you how to do uh, the bottle cap. It's really easy. It just might look better in the shape of the bottle. All right. So that's that. However, let's just have a real quick look at our statistics. So 62,000, and that includes copying all these bottles with subdivisions. What I would end up doing is going back and selecting parts of this and looking to see, do I need a subdivision of two? Can I get away with one? Do I need a bevel of three? Can I get away with no bevel or one or two? But uh, I'm not too, too worried about it in reality. Um, you know, it's not bad. It's not low poly, but it's not super high poly, especially for, you know, a, a reasonable model. Okay, well, let's leave it at that. Um, I've got a bit of tweaking to do, and I will show you how to do the, uh, the the Coke bottle that I want to do, and that does not necessarily include all the frilly stuff on the bottle itself. It's the cap and the overall shape of the bottle, and that's all I need for this. And um, I'll tweak, like I say, I'll look and see if there's anything else, anything I did wrong, any back faces I didn't get rid of, and we'll get into uh, unwrapping this and texturing it. All right, so thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it, and you guys putting up with my kids and the vomit stuff, and we'll see you next time.